Now let's look at another example. This one's a little bit more complicated. Let's say that we have the uh, function t to the seventh ln natural log of s squared plus nine divided by t to the third minus seventh root of s to the fourth. Now. This looks pretty complicated, but uh, in fact, it's not all that hard. I just wanted to write out a hard function or a hard looking function and show you that it's still fairly simple to uh, find the partial derivative of. So let's find first find the partial derivative of uh, this function with respect to s. And let's use this notation, partial derivative of h with respect to s. It's going to be, and once again, we're going to hold all the so we're going to hold all the t values uh, constant. So we got t to the seventh, 2s over s squared minus 4 seventh s raised to the three sevenths, which also simplifies to 2t to the seventh divided by s minus 4 7 s to the negative 3 7 so notice how the second term completely uh, went away and uh, we just found the derivatives of the remaining terms and uh, so that's our derivative of HST with respect to s now let's find the partial derivative of H with respect to T so we're going to hold all the s terms uh, constant, and since this this last term all it has is s, that's going to get uh, go by. It's going to be a zero, and so we're just concerned with uh, finding the derivative of these two functions right here, and that ends up being seven t to the six natural log of s squared minus twenty seven t to the negative four. So that's, uh, once again, looks like a harder function to par find partial derivatives to, but it's the same old-fashioned, same routine.